Welcome to Wolfman's Friday Night Fights, everybody. I'm your host, Dan the Wolfman, and tonight's action bringing you Art of War FC 16 from China. And we got a good one for you here tonight. We got Ole Larson taking on Ansanyan Kusinov. Ole Larson's a Muay Thai fighter I used to talk to back in the day, 7 and 5 taken on the Greco-Roman wrestler from Kazakhstan with a record of 5-3. and three. Ol Larson, originally from Thailand, but running a gym in Borake, Philippines, wins over Edward Fuliang and losses to Dwayne Ludwig, Genki Sudo, and Kao Uno is no joke. We got Larson on the left in the brown shorts. And Kusinov on the outside in the blue shorts. The Muay Thai fighter starts with the outside low kick, gets double leg by the wrestler for his troubles. Luckily, gets up with that underhook right away. Larson landing another heavy low right round quick, but gets double leg yet again, this time landing in the guard position. Looks like he's looking to stuff the right arm of Kusinov to maybe step over the left leg for a triangle choke. Kusinov simply slams him back down. We got the iron fist on bottom, taking on the tornado on top. Getting worn for some back of the head punches now. So guys, if you uh, speak better Chinese than I do, you might want to head over to Art of War FC on YouTube. Otherwise, I'm officially bringing you the English commentary so you can enjoy the action from the great events that are Art of War. Larson looking for that double wrist lock Kamor here, but he's a little too turned sideways on it. I don't and maybe he'll be able to get it. He's a strong guy. He's a little loose on the shoulder, though. Oh, he's cranking it now up the back. Making me in my words. See if he can rip it out again. Go hand to the back of the head in a small banana motion. Oh, he's really cranking it up on the elbow. Ooh, that angle could actually snap the elbow, and he gets the submission victory. The Muay Thai fighter gets the submission by double wrist lock. Perhaps he's been watching some catch jitsu rare submission videos on how to do the double wrist lock the right way. Kind of surprised here, getting take that, taken down easily by the wrestler, but he's able to lock up the submission right away for the victory. Nice guy based on the emails I used to have with him, was looking to maybe, uh, you know, coach grappling at his gym quite a few years back. And uh, it's great to see this Art of War action, guys. Looks like they put on a phenomenal event. We're going to see the replay here of this double wrist lock Kamora. Instead of taking it up the back to the back of the head, he just cranks it all the way around. And that could actually snap the elbow joint, as well as doing some damage to the shoulder, don't get me wrong. The Kazakhstan has no choice but to tap out. And wow, I'd really like to see more of Larson. You know, I think he was pretty regarded as a Muay Thai guy. And to see him win with submission was kind of surprising to me. You know, and his losses were against top guys. I mean, losing a Dwayne Ludwig, Genki Sudo by decisions, I believe it was. Uh, I think Uno might have finished him, if I remember correctly. I mean, those guys are no slouches, right? So, guys, always tune in to Wolfman's Friday Night Fights. Subscribe to Catch Shitsu. Hit that notification bell. And I'm going to be bringing you Art of War. If you want to... Also, subscribe over to Art of War FC. Work on your uh, Chinese. I'm assuming it's Mandarin. Then do that. Catch you next time.